Ship, no Tropolis. This is the tale of the Scavenger 2. You're going to have to work together tonight to unravel the details and the secrets. Listen carefully to narration and enjoy the adventure above all else. This story is performed by the greatest speaker, the greatest voice actor, and the greatest friend. Travelers, it is my honor to introduce to you, Tree Gem, the tour guide. Thank you. Expensive clapping. <laughs> at the same time as holding my first triple A. friends, there are only three rules to keep in mind. Firstly, tonight's instance, as always, will be an Invite Plus instance. I recommend not having your starters blue, unless you are expecting friends to join you during this adventure. <laughs> you may <coughs> have any or all of us tour guides as friends, in case you need to send an invite request to get back into the world for any reason. Secondly, as I will be your tour guide this evening, please try your best to remain with me at all times. And thirdly and finally, each time we stop for narration, kindly become silent so that narration may continue. However, as we walk from point to point on the map, discussion and indeed shenanigans are encouraged. Now, my friends, there are a couple of world-specific notes to deliver to you once we get into the world, but I'll get to those in just a moment. Those in front of me kindly stand aside, and I will drop a portal to tonight's adventure. to the portal until I give the signal. My friends, wait for me on the other side.
Non, du coup, comme je disais, je me suis permis de t'envoyer une invite parce que il disait qu'après, ça allait être un peu complexe pour euh, ramener de nouvelles oui. personnes sur la carte, vu que c'était en invite. Oui. C'est mieux comme ça, merci. Euh, je me suis perdu un peu dans ma conversation avec Champoc, qu'on était en train de parler de la Il n'y a pas de problème. Bah, ça devait être vachement fun, pas... pour, le coup, pour le peu que j'ai pu voir hein, sur l'écran de... de... J'espère que tu m'as pas Justine. vu. Si, si, j'ai tout vu. Oh merde. <rire> ah. Allons-y. Je vais demander des photos. Excuse me, friend. Do we need to put... Um, um, ah, sorry. Travelers. At this time, please make your way over to Trajan. I repeat. Make your way over to Trajan. Just one small question for the sorry. Uh, do we need to have a uh, nouvel avatar for this? Uh, oh, thank you. Apologies. I'm having trouble hearing you. Please step over uh, here. He, he asked if, if Optimus hey, had the same Hey, Angelic. Do you have Trajan blocked? Yes. Like, do you have someone named Trajan blocked in, like, in the instance right now? No, um, because they're the tour guide. Recommend you turn intercoms off in case you are in need of the assistance of another member. Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. Hang on. All good. My they're the cube. <laughs> Wait. A uh. Hey, I remember. Who? Trajim is their name. No, it says offline. A few months, a few months ago, I went to one of these things, and it was the the prince. So they're not blocked. Uh, yeah. The first, and uh, we got partnered up in the in the game. J'ai pas compris si donc ils ont tout fait changer quand même. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, il a dit oui. Um, do you see them in, like, the instance list, Trajan, or no? This one? Yeah, this uh, instance of the map. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm hardly, yeah. I'm hardly think so. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure. Them if and sure. Yeah. Been on all of them. But I I see if that, like, fixes it. Point. Oh, that's because it was after, added afterwards. Wired came back and re-edited the world. Oh, world yeah, I see them. Okay. 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 I'm not going to say. No, if you respawn right now, I recommend you don't. But we will respawn. We will go back into a different part of the cave. I was looking at the only thing that looked familiar was the ocean. Greetings, Angelic. Yes, my friends, blocking the tour guide is going to hamper your experience tonight. I don't suggest blocking me. I don't get why you would. Although that you seemed like a bug, it. so no problem. My friends, gather around where you can hear me. I have a couple of notes for you. First, make sure that your world music is set at a comfortable, immersive level, if you haven't already. Now, this floating book beside me here toggles the brightness for post-processing. If you find this map here even slightly dark, I do suggest clicking the book, because where we're going is darker than this. Additionally, this world menu, to access it, press G if you're in desktop mode, or if you're in VR, press both, both triggers, I believe. No, it's the grip. Hand grip. Twice. Grip. Press the grip twice. You can see that this menu allows you to teleport to people and locations. 
You can use this to teleport to me at any point in time, and if a friend is joining, please also tell them of this feature. But to begin with, please open your menus and teleport to Arapajo Reef. It is third zone from the bottom. Arapajo Reef. Please teleport there now. Start teleporting to Arapajo Reef. Uh... More like a cave than a reef. Underwater reef? Under. Under reef cave? Reefs have caves. Fun fact. Out of your own domain. Out of your domain? Cool. Too much to click on. Maybe don't click it, you're not looking at things normally. It's not really letting me do your... It's not letting me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, it's a pointer. You point at it. Yeah, mine doesn't... My pointer doesn't want to work. For some weird reason. <sighs> Apologies for this. Kindly ones. keep trying. Uh, Don't worry, you'll get it. And you'll see the little line and you get selected from there, I think. It's not letting me. If you think you can contact me in any other scenario during the last five minutes, I think I need an executive to go to that. If you think it's a good one, I'm going to go. I don't need to go to that one because I have to do it. I will have to grab it. Go. Grab it and hold it with one hand, then it's see if you can select it. But there are direct opinions. With the other hand. Yeah. No. Look what I am going to do. Nothing is coming out for me. Don't you worry about if you click on teleport, nothing comes up? Uh, if you click on teleport, then. No, the, my little trigger pointer thingy isn't even activating at all. Um, it's not trigger, maybe it's grip. Do you have a grip? Or, I don't know. I oh, there we go. On. Wait, where are we teleporting to? Angelic Reef is the third Arapajo. Arapajo Reef. Reef, yes. <laughs> tu vois, c'est le cube cosmique qui est là-bas qui va nous raconter la petite histoire. My fellow tourists are assisting a couple of members with navigating the menu. Point to them now, friend. In the meantime, Oops. What's wrong with purple? It wasn't their favorite color. Yeah, I love purple too. Yeah, you're purple. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm. Am I purple? Is or is purple fuck? the light being reflected off of me and I'm every color but purple? <laughs> That's a good point. That is true, but you are question. perceived as being purple since that is the light that reflects off of you. Alright, no, I'm purple. And that is how we describe it. That depends on the depth of your perception. My friends, it appears we are all here. This means that, without further ado, we can begin. The scavenger is on a mission. 
a mission to save the people of the Oversea Realm from extinction. Where he comes from, people live in airships held above a sea of ether clouds by great creatures called Titans. The scavenger recently learned that when a Titan reaches the end of its current life stage, it descends into the cloud sea to become a demigod in the sub sea realms. But this descent through the ether sea kills any person who was relying on the Titan for survival. Humans cannot survive the descent through the ether sea. And yet, here we are, currently descending with the scavenger. How, you might ask? Well, he, his crewman friend, and a gunner sent by the Admiral, are all aboard the Ganador, a vessel of unknown origin, its hull infused with ether and not reliant on a titan for buoyancy or movement. It is, for all intents and purposes, a submarine designed for the depths of the ether sea. Designed for a place no one has ever seen before. Their goal, the reason they descend, is to find the blue titan egg, which will act as an egg for new titans to restore balance to the oversea realms. The three of them have descended for hours. The entire time the scavenger hears nothing but the hum of the Ganador's engines and whatever spontaneous conversation occurs between them. From the outside it would appear a dull descent. But on the inside, within his mind, anxiety grows tendrils. What is it like outside this ship? What could possibly exist down here to be a god over? Does anything even live here? Are there wreckages of sunken airships? Dozens, hundreds, thousands? Are there corpses of titans? Are there mountains of human bones? He shudders at the thought and tries to shake it from his mind. But the dark images persist. A short while later, the gunner says, He hears something. They will stop and listen. There is a noise. Something, something plucking against the outside of the hull. Over and over, the periodic tapping of something much harder. The sound echoes through the small interior, and the scavenger becomes acutely aware of how reliant they are on the integrity of the Ganador's infused chassis. Suddenly, alarms go off. The whole vessel lurches to one side. Something pulls at it, hard. All three of them are thrown to the ground. The scavenger scrambles for the oxygen tanks and masks in the cabinet as everything turns red from warning lights. Suddenly, steel screams and then... How much? He can't be sure. The scavenger slowly regains consciousness. He notices the air first, cold and clammy even through his diving suit. He opens his eyes and tries to sit up. His body aches and stims, but his limbs are intact. 
Nothing seems broken. Wait. He's in a cave. Why is he in a cave? He was descending in, in the Ganador, and he looks around. There's no sign of wreckage, no sign of the crewman and gunner. But wait, over there, a person. No. No, that's not a person. It is humanoid, yes, but the scavenger can see tentacles, arms like a squid or octopus, gripping a spear. What is that thing? It's standing nearby, but isn't looking at him. He feels as though he's being held captive, guarded by the creature. His mask and oxygen tank are still attached and functioning, but he's been spending air here lying for however long. He checks the gauge. Oxygen is at 85%. That's not good. He can't just sit here. Quietly, he gets up, wielding the robust oxygen tank as a weapon, and he sneaks up on the squidman. And with all his might, he swings the steel object into the squidman's head, and it collapses in a heap. All right. The scavenger focuses on his goals. He needs to find the blue titan egg, find his crewman friend and the gunner, and locate the Ganador all before he runs out of air. My friends, waste your oxygen on this adventure, and the scavenger will die. But if you are too conservative, you may survive. But what will you truly achieve? The scavenger walks through the cave. <clears throat> place. This place gives the scavenger a bad feeling. He looks about at wreckages of older vessels, a thin layer of grey mist permeating everything, tattered sails and ropes hanging motionless. What is this place? It must be... It must be where the vessels from the oversea realms settle when they sink. This must be the bottom of the Ether Sea. Yes. This fog must be ether, or something. But where are all the people who die in the descent? Where are the bodies of titans? He thinks briefly of his father, who passed away twelve years ago. And as he does, the hairs on the back of his neck stand up. Something isn't right, but the scavenger does not have time to ponder this way, friends.
A simple steel door can stop me. Well, <laughs> apparently, can't stop the scavenger either. Apologies. Please, lend us an additional minute of your time while the infomorphic mimetic meme complex tour guide attends to something in the higher domain. They should be back within 60 seconds. For now, I will comment on your avatars. Adrem, that sword you're carrying, it's amazing. Truly, oh, you must be a warrior of the end. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Hi. Yeah. Hi. And you, uh, pack lover. Many, many version of end. And uh, some people were pleasing this world. Uh, people that are like me are not very, um, how can I say it, very friendly. <laughs> so I need to have a big sword to big combat. Perhaps we are lucky and must rely on you to be here, Adrim. Protect us from the <laughs> end. I don't know, there are some, a big speeder in here that uh, can protect uh, you. <laughs> so I don't think you will need me in uh, uh, against a uh, uh, very, uh, very big uh, monster. Hmm. Speaking of very big monsters, Ragnaros, um. you're looking quite arachnid today. As is the lover of packs. Wonderful yeah. avatars. <laughs> yeah. And you, Cilantro, what big ears you have. Goodness gracious. Ah, the cube has returned. Is it better, is it better to hear you with? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, I have returned. Thank you, Sheen, for distracting the mortals. Hmm. Now, my friends, the story must continue. This cave is occupied. The scavenger can hear noises, a strange language, and a human voice through this heavy door, which is ajar. If he was held captive by a squid man, the others could be as well. My friends, this is your first decision. The gunner or crewman may be behind this door somewhere, but 
checking will consume more oxygen than not and may have additional consequences. Oxygen is at 80%, and tonight I'm going to change how we're doing group discussions. We're already on the path to bad ending A, so let's make this point a little bit more fun. From Nick around in an arc, those who speak, please form a single file line facing me, starting at Nick. Everyone who speaks, please form a single file line, arcing around me from Nick. Arcing around? You, arcing you're arcing around, around. <laughs> friends. It, it's not... <laughs> Anti-clockwise. Apologies for the vague instruction. Like this. Starting here, going this way. Uh, it, that's what he said. Y'all made a straight line instead of around him. Bye bye. Basically, I have that to ask. Isn't it? No. Sorry. <laughs> so those who don't wish to speak, stand aside. This is perfectly fine. Now, this is how we're going to have the group discussion. We're going to have it one word at a time. <laughs> this is going to be horrendous. <coughs> <Begin>. <laughs> this will be fun. Somebody, somebody wow. type this out. Somebody type this out. Write this down. Write this down. Nick says, "Well." Nothing. <laughs> Important. <laughs> what? Is that let's? Yeah. Well, it's nothing important. Let's try. Going. In? Mm. Bill Gill. <laughs> <laughs> what? Going in what? I'm sorry, was that a burger? <laughs> y yeah? We <laughs> were. I don't know. Well, it's. Probably nothing. Let's try going in burger. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I panicked. Don't be. <laughs> no, no, no. I yes, Ed. What is Ken. the next word? Can. Can? <laughs> Timmy. This is deteriorating rapidly. Uh, yes. The next word is yes. Alice. West. <laughs> going in west. Timmy going in west. Okay. I don't know. Tim Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped the bomb there, Eric. Are you at the end of the line? Or are you uh, standing away from it? I think I'm in the line. Are you in the line? Okay. The final word. You're the last one. City. City. Okay. <laughs> Two thirds of oh, that I'm so fast, so fast. Not intelligible, <laughs> but. Very well. That's all I can think of. I can. I want to make it funny. And it's going to make their choice. Byron, Zarad, Dawn, Jan. You heard their collective wisdom. Do we check the room or do we not? Would you call it wisdom? <laughs> Uh, it's inconceivable. Did anybody actually write My down friends. what we all said? I was hoping Trajan would write I it hope down. No really one bad. wrote that. Let's.
continue this lately. I'm recording. <laughs> Don't worry, we have a recording. <laughs> it's immortalized forever. On YouTube. Jump. <laughs> Timestamp it. Timestamp it, I beg you. Um. Timestamp it and put a transcript. Till you. What's <laughs> here? Thirty-six fifty. I like LOL for best effects ever. <laughs> the scavenger decides to investigate. He peers through the door. Inside are several squidmen. Arguing about something, you can't, can't understand them. And you see these cages with someone in the back right corner of the room reaching through the bars. The scavenger decides he needs to take a closer look, so he sneaks towards some nearby boxes, makes sure that he wasn't noticed, and then heads to more boxes near the stairs, climbing up to get a better look. It's just a stranger. The scavenger doesn't recognize the man, but he looks unusual anyway. Something about him is off. His skin is unusually slimy. Well, the scavenger can't do anything to help him. He has no weapon and there are too many squidmen. He just turns and creeps back out the way he came. Never to see this man again. Oxygen is at 75%. And Timmy is waiting for his burger. Burger bomb. Or his bomb burger. 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 Timmy's burger is the new restaurant. Timmy's burger. Bombing up. <laughs> Hamburger. 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 Okay. I'm thinking man in the corner with a hamburger. Okay. His name is Timmy. <laughs> Hamburger. That sounds very suspicious. <laughs> Stepping off a late night train. Charlie Leaving McDonald's. on a jet plane with a hamburger in the corner. <laughs> Heard some McDonald's. Made it in a back it's alley, sneaking hamburgers out. That'd be five dollars. Cool. Instead of counting cans of melon shock, you're counting McDonald's Sprite. Burbers. <laughs> no, it's copyright, so it's right. VRT right. Sprite. So it's VRT hours. Right. <laughs> in other words, melon shock. Or melon shock, either which way. <clears throat> The scavenger arrives at another intersection and through another door he can hear more noises. Squidman. My friends, there is another choice to be made here. These creatures, these squid men, or squid women, or squid children, seem prevalent in this subsea realm. The crewman or gunner might also be somewhere inside this door, but as before, checking will consume additional oxygen and may have other consequences. Now, we must perform the sacred ritual. My friends, please form an arc around me in a clockwise fashion, starting at Pack Lover. Those who do not wish to speak may stand aside. This way? Wait. Yeah, just make an arc. Starting at back lover, starting here, going this oh. way. Okay. Single yep. file, please. It's not really a single file, it's a curve, but oh well. Question being, <laughs> do we look through the door? 
This is what is on the scavenger's mind. His very thoughts are being dictated by the following words. Pack lover, what is the first word of the sentence? Allegedly. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Off to the start. Legends. Ever. Ever? Never. Did you say never? Never. Allegedly. Legends? Never. Come. Come. <laughs> I'm sorry. True. True. Allegedly. Legends never come true. According. According. To. My. Statistic. Mm. It's ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say speed. No. Okay, good. <laughs> it's ludicrous speed. That would be very funny. The minute he says he guess who. <laughs> 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 No. He said, "Des, Desu." Well, that was almost intelligible until something. Now, Council of Wisdom, you have heard the scavenger's internal thoughts, which apparently have nothing to do with the decision at hand. <laughs> <laughs> we were totally on topic. <laughs> we were on a this, topic. The scavenger is a scatterbrain. <laughs> the scavenger is already running out of oxygen, it seems. <laughs> Hypoxia is a bitch. He's oxygen deprived. Maybe he's losing his mind. <laughs> Very well. Now that we've all purged this memory from our minds, let's continue the story. How do we do? My friends. <laughs> this way. Purge? Oh, no, no, no. No, we've engraved it. <laughs> no, permanently. Our incoherent thoughts have no bearing on our ability to make decisions. I'm directionally challenged. I'm scared. Wrong formula. Split soul. That perfectly summarizes the dynamic of this group. Gather around, <laughs> friend. <laughs> wrong formula, wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> the scavenger decides to investigate. He peeks through the door. At the top of a nearby platform are a few squidmen gathered, distracted by something he can't see. The scavenger sneaks to some nearby barrels, waits until he's sure they are blocking and makes his way to the next room. Oh no, Trajan's in jail. Good. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. 
Come here. What do you realize, Pack Lover, that you are in the cage and I am free? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the next room appears empty. The scavenger creeps closer. There seems to be someone in one of the cells. The scavenger hurries over. It's his friend, the crewman, and his air supply seems to be intact. The scavenger pulls the lever to open the door, releasing his friend from the prison. The crewman looks very happy to see him and asks what happened. The scavenger isn't sure. Something hit the Ganondorf, and then it must have crashed somewhere, and these squidmen found them and captured them. The crewman says he hasn't seen the gunner at all. After making sure the friend hasn't sustained serious injuries, the scavenger and crewman continue on their way. They still need to find the Titan Egg, the Gunner, and the Ganador. Oxygen is at 70%, which probably explains the delirium the scavenger is experiencing. <laughs> delirium. 70% oxygen. Oh, wait, there's too much oxygen. Oxygen toxicity. The opposite of hypoxia. We're getting into normal ranges. Surely our thoughts will be more clear next time. Surely. <laughs> Don't call me Shirley. Oh, we're all gonna birth this shit. Can that? Can go for a Shirley Temple. Thanks for asking. Oh, what a bloody Mary. It's for a Shirley Temple, is that a drink? Yes. Yeah. 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 The girly drink, though. It's just Sprite with. Cherry grenadine uh, syrup. Yeah, grenadine. Uh, thanks. Shirley Temple not got that annoying VHS advertisement where they're trying to get rid of all those tapes. It's like Shirley Temple. Is this one as non corporeal as the previous? See the advertisement right next to Moon Sand advertisements or something? <laughs> More illusionary things. Wait a minute. Wait a darn second. There are no gates to hold me back, because caves can't help hold me back. Did it in gatekeep hard enough? I am the gatekeeper. Alright. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. I am the key master. I am the gatekeeper. Wait, what? Good night. N never mind. <laughs> never mind. No one has no one has seen Ghostbusters, I guess. I thought. Then as the story continues. <laughs> On exiting the cave, there comes a strange noise. The mist muffles and distorts it, and the scavenger looks up at the grayness. A shape soars across the sky. A ship flying without a titan. A Tornan ship. Wait. Tornans? Down here? How did they get down here? The scavenger thinks back to when the Tornad commander tried to steal the blue titan egg for himself. The scavenger had stopped him and the commander was arrested. So why are they down here? And how did they even get here? Did the Tornans have the ability to descend into the ether sea all along? The crewman points out something on the side of the flying Tornan ship. He points out a strange opening, what looks like some sort of intake fan. Perhaps this has something to do with how they can fly down here, he suggests. And shortly, the Tornan ship moves away. It was probably too far to notice them, and so they keep moving. 
oxygen is at 65%. Please follow me. Scared me. Scared me. Scared me. Scared me. Scared me. I think it's just me. Every time I see ships, I say never. Never once has a ship that put two C's. And the name? <laughs> the Billy O T. Mm. The scavenger pauses on a gravelly slope. Movement on a nearby wreckage catches his eye. He sees a figure roaming, wandering, almost drifting in an unseen current, humanoid and yet somehow not. The scavenger finds himself staring at it. Something about it captures his mind, holds it prisoner, until it moves out of sight and the scavenger gasps and regains control of himself. Who was that? What was that? And why did it feel so familiar? The scavenger checks the gauge. 60% oxygen. He cannot stop now. This way, friends. You know those NPC escort quests? Yeah. Where they, they they like to walk. What was that metal gen? I'm moving too fast. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is now a four-hour quest. <laughs> Finally, we can keep up with you. Oh gosh, keep up with. Them. Oh, God. 
Keeping up with the trade gems. Keep up. I just kind. I just kind of zoned out. Let's just rename the quest "Keeping Up with the Trade Gym." <laughs> Wait, burning oxygen? We're not burning it. <laughs> ah. Are you sure? We're getting our cardio in, I'd so like I assume we are. Cigarette. We're consuming it. What would happen if like, you like light um, a cigarette down here? Like to burn somebody with it. Is it an ether seed? Would, would the cigarette burn in an ether seed? Is it an actual seed with ether in it? Just to get their fire started. What kind of fire is it? Straight fire, bro. Hey, hey, chief. The deck of the shipwreck. Water below, motionless, and there is no wind. Every plank creaks beneath his feet. Something stirs ahead, something suspended in the air, something is appearing out of nowhere right before him. It is the same figure from before. Off-coloured skin shining in the wet mist, tattered clothing brushing the deck, drifting eerily, spectral, ghost-like, and it does not seem to notice him. Its voice comes abruptly like a choking gasp for air, and it speaks. It speaks of the sound of the void, the sound of nothingness. Of not wanting to die. It speaks of his desire to go back, of not wanting to be here any longer. And then it dissolves into the air as though it was never made. The scavenger is tearing up. Why? Why is he crying? Is he sad for the apparition? Is there more to it? Oxygen is at 55%. He keeps moving. Loot. That's a weird word. Loot? Loot. Um, it's a noun, it's a verb. And it just sounds weird. There's two O's. Loot. Loot. What about loot? Like all sounds. Yeah, yeah there's, there's also a loot with the like L U T E. Right. Yeah. What's that? A head in the sky, coming right this way, coming from behind me. It's a corner scout vessel. Everyone, quick, get behind something. The rocks to my left or right. Quickly! <gasps> the ship comes closer and closer. Distorted by the mist of sound, a muffled wail, and it. Part 
hands at her head and turns away out of sight. They must be circling, looking for something. Were they followed down here when they descended? Or are they just looking for the blue titan of the tomb? There is no time to ponder. That panic, that heavy breathing, costs us more air. Oxygen is at 50%. This way. Surely, it doesn't go much deeper than this. Surely. scavenger and crewman pause on what remains of this ship's deck. They survey the rest of the reef, looking for anything. But across the waters he spies something, a glint of blue, something glowing blue in the mist, and it appears to be moving the titan egg. That must be the titan egg. It has to be. So, it's moving, so someone or something has found it and is carrying it somewhere. The scavenger must hurry. He continues with renewed purpose. Oxygen is at 45%. This way, friends. Don't fall off. Oh lordy. Welcome Did I say? To the door. Enjoy the sights. Oops. Oops. Take a look around. Enjoy the fresh sea air. A great spot. Fresh. For a beach vacation. Great sunshine. Yeah, here. you can. You can put a tour up hammock right there. 
<laughs> Welcome to the Great Gloom Archipelago. <laughs> Welcome the to the Thunderdome. Of Hawaii. <laughs> Welcome to the Thunderdome. Oh, and then the knockoff version of the Little Mermaid. That's crazy. The scavenger stops. He can hear voices on the shipwreck. Judging by their accents, they sound like Tornans. They must have finally landed and are proceeding on foot. But by the way they're talking, they do not have the blue titan egg. In fact, they seem to be talking about spotting an unmanned vessel nearby on their radar. And talking of a monster lair nearby with increased activity. The Tornans soon move away, and the scavenger is about to step forward. But as he does, he notices something. Away from the shipwreck down another path, something catches his vision. Something takes shape. The apparition appears once more, standing upon a distant shore, drifting back and forth on the spot, looking at the scavenger, and the scavenger cannot bring himself to look away. And that feeling from before grows stronger. What is it? What is this feeling? Who is... He... He, he knows. He knows who this is. Dad? Yes. He knows whose ghost this is. It is the ghost of his father. My friends. My friends. We have an important choice to make. And the choice is between heading to the Squidman lair to look for the rest, or following the ghost of his father. As per ancient tradition, starting from Metal Gen, please form an arc, all those who wish to speak, an arc going around me clockwise, anti-clockwise, from Metal Gen. Those who are not speaking, please, on the ship behind me. Mm -hmm. A single file line, an arc from Metal Gen. Starting here, going this way, please. Careful not to fall oh. off the edge. Oh, we're all the way down there. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, chingies. Very well. The question oh. is, do we head to the Squidman lair, or do we follow the ghost of the scavenger's father? Metal Gen, the first word of the question, of the answer, is... Ghosts. What? <laughs> ghost, ghost, is that? Ghost, <laughs> ghost, 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 very well, ghost, You mean space ghost, 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 Ghosts, ghosts are very toasty. <laughs> toasty. <laughs> Therefore, oh, 
apologies. Ghosts, ghosts are very toasty, and therefore... Inquire. About... Objection. Objection? Objection. Ghosts, ghosts are very toasty, and therefore inquire about objection. Under. Under? Uh, and, and, uh, and, 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 Ghosts, ghosts are very toasty, so therefore inquire about objection and McSalads. Sorry. Come on. this, I beg you. <laughs> Are very toasty and therefore inquire about objection and was it and the McZealots Desu Burger Burger. That's super good. That's really good. That's really good. Oh, my gosh, this. That's super good. That's super good. That's super good. That's super there's nothing to salvage. I have to commit. Very well, my friends. Council of Wisdom. You have heard what the scavenger is thinking about right now. Apparently, utter nonsense. But I did hear the word ghost twice. Perhaps, and burger. Perhaps he wants to go to the ghost of the father. I didn't and mean to yell in your face. <laughs> Very well. The council has spoken. My friends, the council has spoken. And the story was going to go this way anyway. So it doesn't matter what you say. This way, friend. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's like all great questions answers being wasted way moving forward. Poor story. We need a regular really? tour that That's does great. this, just because. <laughs> Narrator, I'm sorry I yelled in your face. <laughs> it's okay, Trace doesn't That's really right. deserve good treatment anyway. <laughs> oh, come on, Pack. <laughs> These are the greatest answers ever. I beg you. <laughs> Purge, what? Listen carefully. If you are quoting these answers on the Discord, I encourage you to do so, perhaps in tour quotes. However, no one give any explanation or context as to these quotes' <laughs> origins. I beg you no. to explain what happened now today. Everyone no, no, everyone else confused, no. suffering for the refusal to attend this Gaslight any newcomers that <laughs> Yes, ether light. Or any um, old veterans, even veterans. <laughs> I'm never doing this again. 
cherish this memory and explain. I probably it to should have said McZealots. <laughs> My friends, the scavenger cannot help it. He has to follow this spectre. He's not sure why. He's not sure what drives him forward. But he does know there must be a reason his father's spirit is here. He follows with swift footsteps. Within a stone arch to his right, he sees the figure, glowing pale green in the grey mist. Across the water, it is looking at him, staring at him. He can feel its anguish. It twists, churns in his gut like a nest of writhing worms. We press onward, not lightly. I wonder how our oxygen's doing. Probably not enough to form a coherent thought. <laughs> the scavenger doesn't you know how, care how about oxygen anymore. Birds will regurgitate stuff to feed their younglings? What if they did that with a reverse <laughs> alcohol? Would they get the same thing? Who needs oxygen when you have burgers, Jess? Timmy's burger. Timmy's burger, Desu. The restaurant. Jump. And it's only the second oh, no. time Trey's oh, gonna jump oh, no. today. The first time was when he jumped out of bed. Just reading the bloody water under the stone. Did Yoli actually jump there? Because then he's just a flirty. It's uh, a constant to jump out of out. bed. Or do its bed jump into me? Ask Chuck Norris. Jumping into bed Trajan's bed? Sorry? Jumping into <laughs> Trajan's bed? What? Why do they call him Jump Jim? Jump Jim. So, what if you backward long jumped speedrunner style <laughs> out of bed? <laughs> That's uh, called the. Uh... Speed runner. I'd like to see a In slow there. runner. That would be impressive. Speed better. Well, that was you about ten minutes ago when I started complaining. <laughs> uh, as for the uh, BLJ the best stands for the, uh... bacon, lettuce, and jelly. <laughs> stands for bacon, lettuce, and jelly. Mm. Bacon and jelly. Oh, that's really good. Bacon and jelly. Up and get down. Jelly. You ever yeah, seen bacon, bacon jelly? jelly? Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 I have. You ever tried it with peanut butter and bread? Uh, I'm not that into bacon. Don't do it. Why? Just trust me on this. Don't do it. The scavenger stops in view of a cavern. The fog around him thickens, clinging to everything in sight. The air hard to move through, almost swimming. The crewman questions the scavenger. He asks if he really wants to do this. The scavenger is persistent. He thinks he can speak with the ghost. His father's spirit is here for a reason. He has to know what it is. And he has so many questions. What is this place? Are they dead? Or are they alive? 
Has he seen Gramps, the family titan, down here? Has he seen anyone? Is there a Desu Burger? face darkens. He says he cannot follow the scavenger any further. The crewman says farewell and leaves to find the blue titan egg on his own. The scavenger cannot bring himself to care about any of that anymore. He abandons his quest and heads toward the cavern, disregarding the oxygen gauge entirely. Manager, I have a question for you now. What's your question, soldier? How does uh, how does the properties of your neck affect uh, you regurgitating for your young? It takes a long time. Uh, okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Metal, metal can clear this up. It took a minute. <laughs> I had to be older. <laughs> A strange round door awaits him. It looks unlike anything he has seen before. The carvings are strange. They don't resemble anything in particular, but looking at them makes him feel uneasy, as though he's staring at unclosed, at unopened eyelids. Observing. He approaches the central embossed shape and touches it. And with a gentle rumble, the door slides open and the scavenger enters. Apologies for the delay. We are trying to get someone to join last minute. 
I'll be right back. Just one more minute, friends. In the meantime, I'd like you to imagine. What does it smell like in here? What can you feel on your skin? What sound do those strange chimes make? What does it sound like? Can you feel the blood in your ears? Make it stop. <laughs> it smells like Save. inside an oxygen tank. Your little gem. Can you see the burger and dance? <laughs> I see myself in science class. We're being introduced to a new thing called the Bunsen Burger. <laughs> the scavenger enters a surreal stone chamber with carved pillars and pedestals, hanging crystals, dangling gems, everything shimmering blackly in dim light. now why he's here. He removes his oxygen tank and steps forward. The spirit of his father appears before him, somber and sullen, and the scavenger reaches out to touch him. The spirit is not a spirit. Is solid, tangible, real, physical, cold, grimy. The ghost looks into his eyes with sunken, empty holes. Why are you here? Why am I here? The scavenger asks, uncertainty flooding his mind. The spectre, at first, is silent. This accursed place has sucked all but the last minority out of my body. See my sin. Find your 
The scavenger peels off his mask and inhales the air. It tastes of bitter nothingness. There is no escape from here. This is my fate and now yours. Scavenger stares at his father's ghost, the pale green, shifting and darkening, spilling across the ragged form, ink, until his father is naught but a silhouette before him. Every crystal in the room chimes in unison. The scavenger's mission has failed, and he enters his father's embrace. He enters his father's embrace, his mind and spirit broken, shattered. His consciousness slipping away, and he feels what little humanity he has left succumbs to the negative ether that drenches this entire area. The scavenger's soul has corrupted monstrous, inhuman. He becomes one of them, and he realizes, he realizes what the squidmen are now, and he becomes one too. He feels his hunger for pure ether increase. It grows insatiable, and he lowers his gaze at the floor, through the floor. And he descends to wreak havoc on those who dwell below. For this is not the subsea realm, but some. travelers. Welcome to Bad Ending A of The Scavenger Part 2. Well done. Somehow we ended up at an ending tonight. I don't know how. For so well. My friends, this is the last time you'll get to see this ending of this tour. And the next tour I run will be the Scavenger Part 2, Neutral Ending A, which has never been seen before, and the good ending together in the same run. After that tour, there is no more Scavenger 2, and no more Scavenger. My friends, in a moment, I will place you back into the care of Sheen, who hopefully isn't too damaged from all the mimetic nonsense from earlier. <laughs> but before we do so, let's take a photo to commemorate. Let's all gather 
here facing the entrance at this rather photogenic location. Photographers, please prepare your cameras. I will give you a minute to do so. Which way are we facing? Outwards or inwards? We are facing the way we came, the exit. Ah. Uh. Is the world we say for the photo? Desu. Burger. Desu. Burger Desu. The Berber. Burger Desu. <laughs> Burger Desu. Burger Desu. Burger Desu. Desu Burger. My friends, are we all ready? <laughs> I think so. On the cat, I so. go three. Burger Des. Ooh. <laughs> One, two, three. Burger Des. Well, that was <laughs> Burger Des. Let's try and go on the Burger, burger Des. Burger Des. West, West Bomb City. Allegedly, legends can never come true. According to my statistics, it's very close to death. Okay. 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 Thank you for coming Desi to my TED Talk. Burger Des. Burger Des. <laughs> he said all the words that we chose. I am now going to pass you over to Sheen for the usual post tour announcements. Sheen, you can have your shell back. In the shell, it's not a shell, mom. It's a shell. He's a mimetic mean complex, no shell needed. Travelers, friends, welcome to the last time anyone will ever witness this ending to this tour. Well done on making it to the end, and well done on having a great time. Sounds like you have a cup next to your mouth. Perhaps. I do, as I'm enjoying my meal here from McZealots, the Desu Burger. McZealots, <laughs> 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 no, no, no. So it's Timmy's that was, Burgers. That was, Tim, that was Timmy's Burgers, yeah. Oh, what if I took Timmy's oh, burger? Yes. But it's my own. That's mm, so like Timmy's like burger and eating it. Jean, you monster. Travelers, we are VR travelers, and we create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team efforts. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoy what we do, and you would like to say thanks to us, please do so in our Discord. I'm sure most of you are already there. But if you join tonight off a friend, the Discord link is my status in VR chat. We encourage you to post photos and or comments from today's tour there. And finally, if you really, really, really enjoy what we do, please support us on Patreon. <laughs> The link to our Patreon is in the info channel of the Discord, and any donations you give will go straight back to the community for all of the commissions that we currently have open for our tours in development. Friends, in just a few minutes, I will open a portal back to the rendezvous for the after party. But until then, oh yes, one more thing, travelers, please put your hands together for a wonderful performance from Trey Jim, the tour guide. <laughs> and Wired, I don't believe you're here. No, but Wired, if you can hear me singing through the ether. Thank you, thank you for this world, this beautiful mm. scenic place with sunshine, beaches, and golden sands. Oh my god. <laughs> now then, it really is broken. 
the floor is yours. Why are you people still standing on my floor? Get off of it. It's mine now. So you're mine now. <laughs> Watch. What's not your name? That she says, allegedly, never's never come true. According to my statistics, it's ludicrous to dance. <laughs> That's my full name. My true name. For anyone wondering, we'll be doing a... Likely, the pilot good ending this coming weekend. Okay. We'll announce it ahead of time. Don't worry. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just had a great idea, Sheen. Oh, no. What? Sheen, Trajan just said he's gonna do, uh... Two different endings of the Scavenger 2 in one go. I think you should do all the endings of the Appraiser in one tour. That would be about time. five hours. <laughs> I know. Would be about five hours. Five hours. <laughs> I'd be down for that. That's no. why it'd be great. No. I think. Does anyone, my friends, does anyone I have you just a raid can avatar? An attack. <laughs> <laughs> what avatar? <laughs> what did you just raid say, Sheen? Raid, raid Shadow okay. Legends. But but yeah, so it was an ad so spot for Raid Shadow Legends. There's no. This is not sp a sponsored tour. Is it? <laughs> All right. Still scared tech nerds. Like we'll open the portal to the after party now. Okay. 